to another Go Greenfield podcast. Yay! Ripper, me turn. And today, turn, what are we doing? We are making paper airplanes. Yeah, we are making paper airplanes, but we're mostly doing like summer fun projects. Yeah, so we're just going to show you guys some fun projects, a cool science experiment, and how to make some really delicious popsicles. We're going to make this paper airplane. This is just an example one. I used like a spiral piece of paper. And we'll show you how they fly at the end and tell you how to fly them. But first, we're going to tell you guys how to make them. So would yeah. you like to, to tell us them, or would you like me to do it? I'll do some of it. Okay. So first, you're basically going to fold the paper in half like this. Like make that. sure all the edges line up. Yes. Okay, I did that. And then you basically, kind of like a normal paper airplane, you basically okay. fold the two fronts in like that. Like that? Okay. I'm just going to move my paper. <laughs> After I've gotten this stuff, I'll be dogs are just excited for summer. Okay. <laughs> the next step is going to be just gonna make sure this crease up the edge, like these little paper pieces, are gonna fold down, and you're just gonna fold them down and put your center crease in line with like your, the crease that you made. So it'll look like kind of like that, so you can like technically fold it in. And then after that, you're going to take this end and this end, and you're going to put it an inch up from like this little the tip of the triangle. I'm just gonna go like this. I'm using my second white zebra stripe because that looks like one inch. I'm or guessing. you can use this part of your finger from here to here. It's actually like an inch. I'm gonna put that. And you just gonna repeat on the other side. Make sure that they're matching. Yep, looks exactly like that. And then you want me to do the next step here? You're gonna take the tip of the triangle right here and you're just gonna fold it over these two pieces of paper. Just like that. And then you're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna fold this crease onto itself. So it's gonna basically make another hot dog kind of. Do you have to flip it over or can you just go like this? We can do that, but you can also flip it over. There's, there's a couple ways you can do that. And if you guys are understanding how we're doing this, you can probably slow the video down or something or just like stop and pause. Watch it. Yeah. So mine's not totally centered, but I think it'll be okay. I'm guessing it'll fly. Mine's but actually pretty good. I have backup. What do you do after this turn? What's the last step? After this, like any other paper, you gotta fold the wings down. So it's gonna take this edge and this edge, and you're gonna align it with this edge. So you're just gonna fold it. And don't worry if it's not entirely even. Mine isn't, and I'm guessing it's still gonna Mine fly. Is. And you can still get some like good laughs on seeing how flashy yeah, it is. Yeah, actually, it's kind of fun just seeing how it works. All right, and that's it, I think. Yeah. yeah. So I've got the Z. What are you naming yours? Mine's Spiral and Zebra. Here again, Zebra. No, sp Zebra, <laughs> Spiral, and Blueberry. Like this, it kind of this kind of looks like a zebra. Like it's got its little ears, like the nose does not ear. look like a blueberry. Like it had googly eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine does not look. Now we're gonna show you guys how to fly these guys. Wee. Basically, what you're gonna do, I'll use zebra. You're gonna fly. You're gonna throw it really, really light. You don't have to throw it hard. Sometimes it'll work, but usually it'll just go straight up and then straight down. So now it's time to make some oobleck. Yay! And we got a uh, green coated water, and Ooh. we got some cornstarch. And if we're making oobleck, you need a two to one ratio of cornstarch water. Oh. So we have a quarter cup of water and half a cup of cornstarch. Yeah, I'm putting in the water. Okay. There. Okay. Oh, poopy. Mm -hmm. Mix it together. So what's this supposed to be? Uh, it's kind of like a liquid solid, almost, if that makes sense. We'll show you. No, it doesn't. It's cool. Okay. To mix. Yeah, it's supposed to be. I'm spilling everywhere. Yeah, see, that's why it's, it's hard for us to mix because when you add pressure to it, it turns into a solid. So that's why it's kind of hard. Why did you make this? Because it's cool. Okay, is it mixed? Yes. It is? So what's it supposed to be? Okay, so watch this. I can. So it's, is it does this look like a liquid to you, River? Starch. It doesn't look like it's really holding up very well. <laughs> this is how I. This is how I. You're smell making everything sound so sad. Yeah. No, I'm not. It just didn't look like it worked very well. So I'm hoping. Now it's super hurt. Yeah, exactly. Now mix it. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look like. See, look how it's mixing and then dripping. Okay. Now it's just a solid. Okay, I guess it works. It's just a little less. It's more solid now than it was. That's but 
Okay, so it slowly melts because we added we added a lot of cornstarch in, but I can like Yay. break it and crumble it into pieces. It's also a liquid because it melts. It's a cool hero. Yeah. Melting on the hand. It's Wait, what? How? Here, wait. Heck? I'll make it a little better. Oh, no, it's definitely... Explanation from Science World. The cornstarch is suspended in the water instead of dissolving like sugar. Just... Stirring it or squeezing it with force causes it behave rather like a solid. When it's handled gently, it behaves more like a liquid. This makes it what scientists call a non-Newtonian fluid. A non-Newtonian fluid is a fluid that does not follow Newton's law of viscosity. In non-Newtonian fluids, viscosity can change when under force to either more liquid or more solid. Ketchup, for example, becomes runnier when shaken and is thus a non-Newtonian fluid. Now it's time for popsicles! Yay! Oh yeah! Okay, what's your popsicle gonna be? Um, I'm gonna be like a peaches and coconut cream popsicle. Ooh, fun. Super easy. <laughs> Two ingredients. <laughs> like a... Isn't there a dessert called peaches and cream? Yes, yeah, there yeah, is. Okay. Well, mine's it's a flavor. Mine's gonna be a little bit simple. It doesn't have a school's name. Mine's just gonna be a mixed berry coconut. So I can simply call it coconut fruit. I don't know. But mixed um, these really cool popsicle things that you guys can find on Amazon. They're really it's small. Cocoa berry. So they yeah, cocoa berry. That's kind of cool. They're really small, but they're like just enough so that you can like make a bunch, and they're really really good. They make twelve. Yeah, they make twelve. Click the link to get those. <laughs> and uh, where where can we get that coconut? Dry market. <gasps> Yay! What? That's all organic. Oh, it's organic. Fancy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fancy. So, we're gonna be making ours at the same time, but they're both basically the same recipe, kind of. Well, except not at the same time. We only have one blender. Okay, well, I will put mine in at a different time, but I'll go for first it. for mine. Once you get, you tear off the paper on top of your package, and I've got some big, big strawberries and stuff, and blueberries, and black raspberries, and stuff like that. What the whoa. This actually smells really, really good. Oh, my good. And then, I can just make as many as I want, but oh, let's go. Mine's gonna be good. Mine's... I might even do it. I'm mean, you know going all for it. Why not? Here we go. Get all those little bits into. There we go. First step: put fruit in a blender. Yes. Mm. Next, we have to dig out the coconut milk. Yeah, sometimes there's some coconut fat on top, and then you can just kind of like dig a hole in there. Why don't you like mix the coconut fat on top? Because that's really good. Coconut fat's really good. Like, yeah, I guess you probably should. Ow. Okay, so I'm actually basically gonna do like half fruit, half peaches, because I don't know how I'm gonna like mix it all together. It won't look that cool. So it's time to blend the peaches since they're frozen. It'll always be like semi cold, which is nice. I actually can't really see this, so sick it. Some like little berry bits, kind of like little hidden treasures in it. So 
I'm just gonna keep mine the way it is. It's more of like an ice cream or like a sorbet, but I think it'll be really good frozen. It'll have like, it won't be too like hard and crunchy like ice, but it'll be like nice and smooth. Which I really love. How about, you know, I'll just gonna scratch it out. Yes, layers. Thankfully, the cream is thicker, so it won't like basically mix it all together. <laughs> I might do like a couple layered, a couple not layered, because I don't know if I have enough cream to make it all. Also, you, you don't want to go all the way to the top because since it gets cold, it expands. Wait, what? The water does. So that's why you, do, you usually don't like to go to all the way to the top. Whoops. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, it's a silicone, so it should like stretch a little bit. Oh well. You know what? It won't matter. It'll still taste good. And then people will be excited because mm. they have that's good. Wait, here you have to taste this thing. Can I taste? What? What? Mm. What? No. 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 Get away. <laughs> Mine's good. But we already did a popsicle for this summer, so. Okay. Okay. Five better wishes. Don't. <laughs> it's a tree after you're looking better on one side. I'm just gonna make cream and stuff on your Okay, I'm gonna put mine in the freezer. It'll be more refreshing. Okay. Uh, you know what? Right here looks good. I'll just put this right there. There we go. It's in the freezer, and I'm probably gonna let it sit for like, I don't know, two to eight hours. During that time, depends how cold your freezer is, or how thick or how watery your popsicles are, or how hot they are. Sometimes you have to like cook the ingredients to get So, how easy are popsicles, River? They're easy. How easy? Peasy. How easy? I don't know. Uh, well, there's <laughs> only like three steps to them. Yeah, most sure. of them at least. Yeah. Yeah, most of the steps is basically pretty easy. You basically blend, then you pour into the molds, and then you freeze it. So, if you want to make a basic popsicle like we did, it's pretty easy. <laughs> and you can choose really any flavors. Yeah, you can like choose any flavor. Honey, or like lemonade, or uh, blueberry. I need a pineapple lemonade. Ooh. Strawberry cheesecake, our mom did once, with like little snickerdoodle cookies in them. You can do a ton of stuff. Yeah. And you can look, you can look it up too, those like rainbow popsicles. There's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, popsicles are really easy. Right. Well, put yours in the freezer then. Okay. Also, when you guys order your ingredients, you can order your ingredients at local food stores and uh, local farms if you have any near you. And it's not so much definitely, organic. definitely guaranteed to find some organic stuff there. Yeah. And if you guys want to try our recipes, they're really simple. You can totally be creative with your recipes. You can check out the recipe down below and also some other great podcasts. This episode was brought to you by Thrive Market and these other wonderful sponsors. Magic Spoon, Fresh Pressed Olive Oil, Wake Up Foods, and Desert Farms. Welcome back to another 10 New Ideas with me, River. And me, Taryn. And today we're going to give you our top three favorite ideas from April 10th. You ready? Yes. You want me to start? Sure. Okay. My first one is gobstopper taffy. I remember when I was a little kid that I really enjoyed like eating the gobstoppers. And I love like uh, like take them out and put them on my hand. I'm like, oh, look, it's red now. Sweet. Put it back. I'm like, oh, it's orange. Cool. And they're like, oh, it's green. Nice. And they're like, oh, it's gone. Dang it. But if you made like taffy out of it, so you could just like be sucking the taffy or like taking bites of the taffy and like change colors. I think that'd be really cool. Maybe it would be like different flavors, kind of like a gobstopper. And then my next one is rainbow water. Like you put like dye into the water and like it changed colors somehow. I don't know how, science. I think that'd be really cool. It'd be really pretty too. And then my third one is edible school supplies. Like you should be like, cause sometimes like kids like chew on their pencils or something, but what if like the pencil's made of chocolate? Or it'd be like the eraser, like someone's just like thinking on the test, they're like, hmm. And there's like, the eraser's like, like on the blurb and there's like, oh, it tastes like strawberry, cool. And you can eat it. 
Okay. Well, mine are a shirt that resists dog hair because we have two dogs. One of our dog has like I need a that masses of hair. I need that in my life. Like t- like you just like kind of comb his hair. You can basically like put your hand in his hair, kind of like put your hand in a little bit of a fist, like not pulling on his hair, but just like put it in a little fist and then pull it out, and you have like a ton of hair in your hand. It's kind of gross around our. This yeah, when you comb yeah, his hair. Yeah, this time of year it's kind of bad. When you comb his hair, you can find like baseball. Size yeah, it's it's hair. yeah. And then one of ours is just kind of short, but like they still kind of float around. So if there was such a thing as like a dog-proof shirt, that'd be really nice. Or pants. Yeah. Pants would work too. I, we, one time we got like to-go food, and we opened up the boxes, is and our, one of our dog's hair was in it. Like we open up packages, and like there's somehow in there. Like we don't understand how. But <laughs> and then my other one is a slug bug picture taker, because when we we're doing, we we're riding in the car, and I see a slug bug, and was like, where, where, What's where? I know, but you're like, where, where is it? And I pointed out, and you're like, What's where? I don't bug? see it. Oh, a slug bug, it's a, uh, basically a beetle ca- car, it looks oh, like a beetle. Oh, beetle car. Yeah, okay. looks like Yeah. It would be really nice if, like, I saw it, and then somehow I could take a picture of it to be like, See? I basically, know I can't punch you. Basically, when I'm not playing, he <laughs> says, like, see it, and then he punches me. Yeah, because you never like, believe me. Either that, or you say no. it's not there. But and then my last one is like a book to movie machine. Because sometimes, like when you're reading books, it'd be really fun to see them like actually like visually. Because like I like reading, but I also like seeing it visually. That's why I like comic books and stuff a lot too. Thank you guys for listening. If you want to, you can comment down below and subscribe. Subscribe? Yes, subscribe. Bye. <laughs>